If you haven't seen the title yet, uh, today I'm going to show you how to play Teri Tasveer off of our new album Suno. If you haven't listened to our album yet, please listen. We will really, really appreciate it. Um, because of the whole corona outbreak thing, uh, I know a lot of us are going through some hardships and troubles. So please stay strong. Remember to wash your hands. Remember to wash your face. Don't panic unnecessarily. But also don't chilling. This is not party time. This is a severe, serious health crisis. Please treat it seriously. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Just don't be stupid and take care of yourself. We are continuing to write more material. And as we get time, we will keep doing more work and putting more stuff out. But for now, you get to learn how to play Teri Tasveer. Or if you're under quarantine or under lockdown or under house arrest, hai, toh maybe you can spend this time and learn a new song. Hey, kya scene As you can probably tell, I don't really know how to make videos i don't really do this stuff so if you have any suggestions your feedback please feel free to tell me in the comment section don't be mean but you know constructive feedback hamesha achi cheez hoti hai now teri tasveer is in the key of c sharp minor that is uh trivia the same key as hum nadan so that is there is a c sharp minor chord by the way the guitar is tuned to standard um Right, so this is what the song starts with. So the first chord is this one. So I've got my pinky on the seventh fret of the A string, my ring finger on the sixth fret of the D string, and my index finger ke saath A string se niche maine bahar kiya hua. So this is what I'm doing. First chord. Now for the second chord, what you do is, you lift your ring finger ko lift karke, you will bring it to the sixth fret of the A string, and you will put your pinky on the sixth fret of the D string. Very simple. Then you are going to play this, which is fourth fret A string. Sixth fret D string, sixth fret G string, and then fourth fret A string again. So the bar stays there. And for the fourth one, just lift your pinky. Right. So it goes like this. So that's the first time round. The second time round, me. आपने जो फोर्थ कॉर्ड है उसको थोड़ा सा मॉडिफाई करना है हेयर्स व्हाट यू गोइंग टू डू एज बिफोर बट देन यू पुट योर मिडिल फिंगर डाउन हेयर ऑन द फिफ्थ फ्रेड ऑफ द बी स्ट्रिंग एंड देन यू आर गोइंग टू लिफ्ट योर मिडिल फिंगर एंड योर पिंकी नाउ दैट माइट सीम कंफ्यूजिंग लेकिन फ्लो में अगर आप सुनेंगे तो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई एम डूइंग सो आई एम डूइंग दिस So the intro, start to finish is. In a scale, of course, as per does is beautiful. What a good singer! Yeah. Anyway, so that's what one guitar is doing. I'm pretty sure you also want to know. We'll catch you there. What I'm doing is. 
is my index finger is on the fourth fret of the B string. मैं इतना बजाता हूँ, फिर अपनी middle finger को hammer on करता हूँ onto the fifth fret. And my pinky stays on the seventh fret of the high E string. तो बस the intro right now we're on to the first verse take it now pop the intro may notice kiya hoga woh jo cheez main baja raha tha so verse 1 is just that aur saath mein aapne ek chote si single strum rhythm bajani hai and that is the chords are as follows they're just straight up plain power chords very very easy so it's with vocals but and that's it that's the first verse um, please me aur nahi gaane wala All right, so this next section is a bit of an interlude. ठीक है, you might this is the part where full like crescendo आता है और एकदम से हर चीज़ बंद हो जाती है और एक बहुत ही प्यारा सा clean guitar बज रहा होता है. Mukit came up with it. Mukit हमेशा बहुत पुट्टी सी चीज़ें बनाता है. But let me see if I can play it for you. without a guitar pick so we will be using our fingers so if three strings use over here low e g and b and here is what i'm doing e or g ek sath pick hote hain and then b or g a quick arpeggio mein bajte hain so it's always practice this a little bit because i had to practice this a lot for this video so the first chord is whatever the name is it's going to show up here lekin uh you've got your middle finger on the fifth fret of the e string you've got i've got my pinky on the uh sixth fret of the g string and my index finger on the fifth fret of the b string i'm doing the second chord middle finger on the 9th fret of the e string pinky on the 9th fret of the g string and index finger on the 7th fret of the b string third chord middle finger 7th fret e string uh pinky 8th fret g string and index finger 5th fret b string the last one you you go back to the first chord except up the index finger is now not on the fifth fret of the b string but is on the fourth fret of the b string and after you play the e and the g together you have to quickly take your pinky off and you have to bar the fourth fret of the g and the b strings so as you're doing this शॉर्ट थोड़ा सा टाइम इस पर लगेगा राइट इंटरलूड डन बैक टू द इजी स्टफ राइट सो वी आर एट द सेकेंड वर्स नाउ सेकेंड वर्स मे बी इज जस्ट यू नो फोर वेरी वेरी सिंपल कॉर्ड्स सो लेट्स वॉक यू थ्रू दम can see again three very very simple chords or har dusre cycle mein ek choti si variation aa rahi hai so let's walk you through those chords one by one the first chord is a c sharp and what i'm doing is 
uh, index finger barring these the fourth fret and then my ring finger is on the sixth fret of the D string take a G and my pinky is on the seventh fret of the B string so that's the first chord the second chord is a G sharp minor very very simple take a G uh, E string fourth fret and uh, A and D strings don't know sixth fret and then you bar the fourth fret the rest of the way very simple the third chord I didn't have phone silent but that's okay if it's going to be embarrassing and yes my grandmother is currently watching TV shows very very loudly anyway the third chord is an A and it's again one of those stupid simple chords once you find out what's going on so you take an A major take it that is open A and then D G and B strings pair sorry second fret but what I'm doing is I'm barring these and I'm putting my pinky or my ring finger which will be comfortable on the fourth fret of the high E string so adds a bit of flavor to it uh, that I really, really like and that's the second verse the only thing that else that you need to know is that the second verse ke har dusre cycle mein, when you come to this chord while playing it you just can make like a tiny jump to this fourth shape which is also an A but what we're doing here is uh, G string second fret B string first fret high E string second fret and the open D just for flavor so that's the second verse all right, we're at the next interlude thing is the part where a lot of a lot of stuff is happening. Like in the very, very simple sort of chords that are playing alongside that, you know, everyone will be able to play are as follows. We start with an F sharp minor. Take it second fret barred and um, A and D strings fourth fret. Then we have a B major, which is second fret on the A string, and then you bar the D, G, and B strings on the fourth. Then you've got a C sharp minor, which I've already shown you earlier as well. So just fourth fret A string, sixth fret for the D and G strings, and fifth fret for the B. Fourth one here is a G sharp major. Remember how we did a G sharp minor pele? So the G sharp major is almost the same shape, but the only thing that you're doing different is you're putting your middle finger down on the fifth fret of the G string. So here's what that section sounds like. Second time round, chords boy retiyan, but the playing style is a little different, uh, and you're sort of sliding back to the B. Let me just show you how to do it. It's very very simple. Okay, so as you can see, started again with the F sharp minor, and I played the B major again. Now instead of like the full C sharp minor and then the uh, G sharp uh, major what I instead did was I, I made a power chord which is just these three notes and I played the C sharp then I went to the B and then I went to the G sharp major so it was as well all right cool we are now at almost the end of this song so this is the uh, 
Rasa tak part Or achhi baat nahi hai ki main nahi gata is band mein Right so here are the here, This is like the first major part where sort of nay chords hum bajane lagi hai So the first one that we're going to play is a kind of A major Theek hai What I'm doing here is Index finger on the 5th fret of the E string uh, Ring finger on the 7th fret of the A string pinky on the seventh fret of the D string middle finger on the sixth fret of the G string and then the the B and the E I'm leaving open so it gives it like a nice sort of uh, full sound that's the first chord then we slide the same shape up two frets so that it becomes a B from there you jump to a familiar chord the C sharp minor and then to another familiar chord the G sharp major so here's how that part sounds stops again uh, and when it abruptly stops what we do is we go into a, into a heavier version of the intro okay for that we are about to jump into not that what did I just do all right so for the outro just go back to literally the intro take a remember the chords that we were playing the <laughs> So the outro is just distortion up karke any chords ko thoda se attitude se play karna hai. Sounds more badass if I do this, I guess. And that was the eight speed. Uh, I hope this helps you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for supporting the band as, as always. Sorry, awkward or yeah, though.